two years ago, as many of you know, we got that wonderful Department of Labor grant, and that's given us the opportunity to go outside of our professional network and be able to reach out to um, what's close to 300 students that have gone through the program in Southern California. Some of them who come with an industry background, but by far, most of them, um, it's their first exposure to this and um, really be able to affect change in people that are searching and looking to do something different and share our message of zero waste and all the years of collective work that we've been doing as an industry and just bring new people in. Um, and I'll just highlight, this is the last year of our grant. One of the big things that we're going to be looking at doing is job placement. Now that we have all these people going through the program, we want to ensure that they're getting out there and getting some of these great jobs and getting exposed to um, do the things that we've been able to do all these years. So if you happen to be an employer and you're looking for a fantastic employee, please let me know and I'm going to hook you up. Even though most of our program is done in Southern California, we have people looking to relocate anywhere in California in the nation. So. Um, we would definitely like to know if you have jobs that are coming available. A couple of the things that we're also going to be doing in the last year is as we do move forward with this program, we want to make sure that it's sustainable. So we're going to be looking for other funding mechanisms, other ways to do the training, such as through online training and curriculum development. Through the grant, we've been able to get our program into three community colleges in Southern California that basically t used our training as a platform to, for developing their certificate and they actually have AA or associates programs in these community colleges and we'd love to see this program go to more community colleges and be AA or even articulate into the university program through bachelor and four-year degree programs. Additionally, something that's really exciting that's going on is just the work we've been doing on the national standard. There's now a national standard board. We're looking at creating um, a program that is nationally recognized so that those of you who go through the program have a portable um, uh, recognition of what you do that anywhere you go is recognized throughout the nation. So we have lots of exciting things going on in this program, and so just stay tuned. I also want to recognize just quickly the people that are a part of this, I know that Genevieve Bertone and Deb Oral were here. They're both with Santa Monica Community College and Golden West College. Are you guys, yay. Um, Santa Monica College is the lead on the grant. Golden West is one of our partners. Also, I'm going to run through a list of names really quick, um, just because I really feel it's super important to acknowledge the great work of all these people. Um, on our team at CRA, working with me hands-on has been Gary Liss, Stephanie Barger, and Bob Hollis. Um, I definitely want to recognize that we have the most amazing, outstanding instructors out there. When you come to our classes, you are getting your money's worth. So I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to Richard Gertman, Richard Anthony, Gary Liss, Joan Edwards, Matt Cotton, Stephanie Barger, Heidi Sanborn, Susan Collins, Michael Holes, Cynthia Van Hull, John Davis. Stephen Sherman, John Hanscom, Linda Christopher, Tracy Bills, we've got Julie Muir coming on board this year, Leslie Lukash, and one of our instructors I really just want to highlight, Michael Simonitis. He actually got exposed to us through Lynn King when he was an undergrad student at UC Davis and got to come for a free workshop one day, didn't know what we were, got completely inspired, paid his own way through the program, started a business, and is now one of the largest zero waste events planning for uh, businesses in California and actually outside of California, and he's one of our instructors. So that's the type of things that this program can do. Hey, just stuck together, sorry. And finally, I just really want to thank the CRA board for the support. Um, when you talk about bringing on a program that's almost going to double your budget and pretty much double your staff, it can be very scary. They've been very supportive. Um, of this program, so I just want to give them a huge thanks as well. So with that, I will say just quick statistics before we introduce the graduates. Um, that our first graduate, we had one graduate in 2009, and uh, now with um, the graduates we have as of tonight, we're close to 300 people have graduated the program. So I think that's pretty amazing. Um, yes. And we have 
two different programs, so I'm going to introduce two groups of people. But we have the, the, the professionals who are in our industry that we all know, and I'll say that of the award winners tonight, about half of them have gone through our program, so that was exciting to see as well. Um, but they go through workshops on an independent basis, and then they do an independent project, and we're going to be recognizing five people tonight who have completed their independent project, and I want to recognize them first. So first, I'm going to recognize Mary Lindema with the City of Sunnyvale. She did her project on commercial composting in the City of Sunnyvale. So Mary. Next, I want to recognize Marcy Greenhut with the City of Emeryville. Um, she did her project on the City of Emeryville's Construction and Demolition Waste Diversion Program. Uh, next, I want to recognize Andrew Sloan with Cascadia Consulting, who did his project on scavenging in the Bay Area. And well, the last person that's here tonight is Terry Ramirez with San Jose State University. I want to also thank her because she has hosted us in our workshops many times, been a big supporter of our program, and she did her project on the Spartan Stadium Beverage Container Recycling Program. Um, and Victoria Charles isn't here tonight. She's one of our graduates. Um, she did her project on the Los Angeles Urban League Zero Waste Vocational Training, and also very exciting, she just, um, I heard, got hired to teach at City of at Santa Monica College. I think that's correct. Yes. So, yes, so she's actually taking her training and going to be teaching now as well. So, um, congratulations to Victoria Charles. And then up here with us, we have a number of students as well, current and past and I'm not going to introduce everybody, but we were I was really excited since we're up north this year. Most of our students are down south that go through the projects, and we had a number of them, either through jobs or on their own dime, they, they've heard about CRA and that they have to be here and this is the place to be. And so for about half the people up here on the stage, this is their very first CRA conference, and I'm just really excited to have them here. So.